<laughs> Reaction to being the oldest player in the league again. Ah. Uh... Well guys, we're going to have a lot to talk about over the next week. Media Day has definitely been interesting and a lot of different storylines are appearing from it. Between LeBron, Anthony Davis, what they did during the Olympics and now coming back to the team, Bronny James of course, Dalton Connect, Rui Hachimura, D'Angelo Russell and many many more. There are plenty to talk about. But I think we'll begin by talking about two in particular. With one of them coming from and mainly being about Anthony Davis's 3 point shooting ability both from JJ Redick and from Anthony Davis himself, and then the other one about Rui Hachimura, about 3 point shooting, offensive rebounding, and about how he will be utilized for the team this season. All of which he was very excited about by the way. But before we get too far into it, if you want more NBA content from me, then don't forget to check out my second channel, JSM Plus. That's where I talk about the other 29 teams in the NBA and definitely will be uploading over there very frequently. So if you want to check it out, there will be a link for it in the video description down below. But without further ado, let's dive right into it. And if you weren't able to keep up with Lakers Media Day, don't worry we'll break it down bit by bit. But again, I think we'll start out with Anthony Davis and Rui Hachimura. And beginning with AD, I think a really interesting part of his opening interview had to do with that 3 point shooting and how Redick has been interacting with him over the summer and what they have been talking about. Which again primarily did involve 3 point shooting. Anthony Davis said, JJ wants me to take more threes, and that anytime I would take one during the Olympics, he would text me and say, that is what I'm looking for. I think it's everything. Obviously, we have one of the best shooters to ever play in our head coach, um, JJ. So he's, uh, he's been knowing me all summer about shooting threes. Even in the Olympics, when I make a three, he had texted me, that's what I want to see, and things like that. So. Uh, you know, for him, it's definitely going to be just shooting more threes. Um, but for me, I just try to work on everything. I mean, there's nothing, you know, in my game that I would, that I can't polish or touch up. So, uh, you know, when I'm working out, I just try to hit every facet of my game. So definitely a lot to take away from that. AD hasn't been a good three-point shooter throughout the past three years and nearly both the past half decade now, going all the way back to the NBA bubble. So it would definitely be interesting to see more three-point shooting from him and if Reddit can actually get that out of him. Now some people think that AD playing at power forward or center makes a big difference in his three-point shooting ability, with many claiming that he quote-unquote shoots better at power forward. Though I'm not sure that's exactly the case. Maybe at certain points and through a limited sample throughout his career, but if we look at the big picture here, it's really not that different, and actually leaning the opposite way that many think. If we take a look at it, AD has shot roughly 25% from 3 during the years where he spent more time at power forward compared to center, and then about 28% from 3 where he spent more time at center compared to power forward. Now keep in mind these numbers are not weighted by total attempts, so that's why they're actually lower than his career average, but it does give you a decent picture about how it's really not that different or overall affected by him playing at one position or the other. He's a little bit below average no matter what, and up until this point it's definitely been difficult for him to overcome that. But definitely lately more than anything. Throughout the past 3 years now, he's definitely been underwhelming from 3, and has kind of even given up on it at times. And with that being said, what happened? Well, that's definitely up to interpretation, but if you ask JJ Redick, he apparently has a quote unquote, theory on why AD doesn't shoot well from 3 anymore. Now he did decline to reveal that theory even saying that he might reveal it if it turns out to be true, but not revealing it right now. So obviously he does have a plan for Anthony Davis when it comes to 3 point shooting, and AD did hint that he will be taking more of them this season, or at least trying it out anyway. However, from an outside perspective, there's really not a whole lot to break down here. His shooting form seems to be completely the same compared to back in 2019 or 2020, and with there being very little to absolutely nothing different about his shooting form, I think it simply comes down to shooting confidence here. After that 2019-2020 NBA season where he shot fairly well and really well in during the NBA bubble, he had a really bad 3 point shooting year in 2020-2021. And he spent about 90% of his time at power forward that season, which did require him to be a bit more of a floor spacer, and I think that really wrecked his confidence. He had a really bad 3 point shooting season, albeit with it being a fairly injury prone season for him as well, and I don't think he ever fully recovered from it. 
After that point, he began taking fewer of them per game and hesitating more, even over at times not even looking at the rim. And after that point, the Lakers ran more of their offense through him as a DHO guy, rather than as a floor spacer or a three-point shooter, and then even moved him more toward the rim. And in reality, I think that actually helped him. Obviously not from a three-point shooting standpoint, but definitely from an overall efficiency standpoint. He had the two most efficient years of his entire career from the field, and it definitely came from him playing more around the rim. Now I think Redick will likely keep a majority of that the same, but he obviously does plan to incorporate more three-point shooting as well. And with that in mind, is it even worth it? Even during his best three-point shooting years from 2017 to 2020, AD only shot 33.3%, so not really that good. And I know fans like to mention the NBA bubble, but that was a very limited sample to look at. Only about 10 regular season games, and although a very good playoff run of three-point shooting from Anthony Davis, that was in a very different atmosphere compared to the one they're playing in right now. Obviously no fans there, and very different compared to a packed stadium. And although it showed what AD can do at his best from a three-point shooting standpoint, it's definitely not what he can maintain over a long duration. And like I mentioned before, he had the two most efficient years of his entire career while taking less three-point shots per game. He shot a new career-high 56.3% from the field in 2022-23, and then nearly beat that last season while shooting 55.6% from the field. And overall, it definitely correlated with him taking less three-point shots and being around the rim more often. And not only that, but he averaged a new career high in rebounds per game during each of the past two years. 12.5 of them per game in 2022-23, and then a career best 12.6 of them last season. So from that standpoint, you definitely can make an argument for him to take less, or around the same amount of 3-point shots that he's taken throughout the past two years now. Obviously been more efficient from the field, and simply been more efficient around the rim in general. Both from a points per game standpoint, an efficiency standpoint, and then a rebounding standpoint too. So you really can't argue against it. If Reddit can magically unlock AD's shooting ability and quickly, then sure, let him take more threes. But if not, I think they're better off keeping him around the rim more, and then making him more of an offensive hub to run their offense around, rather than making him more of a three-point shooter or floor spacer. In my opinion, that's the better way to utilize him, and probably the better bet to make him more effective on offense too. But even apart from Anthony Davis, three-point shooting has been a big topic of debate for their team, and especially since they hired JJ Redick. And after Anthony Davis, I think the next guy that has been talked about the most in regard to three-point shooting has definitely been Rui Hachimura. And this one I think we can all agree on too, with Rui himself even agreeing with it. And here's a clip of him talking about taking more threes next season and what Redick is looking for from him. With this team and uh, yeah, I think- You know what I think yourself. you're gonna like? JJ loves guys who shoot threes. <laughs> and you like shooting threes. So I, can, can, can I talk you into shooting? I always, whenever I see him on the road, I yeah. say shoot, yeah, yeah. shoot I, more. I, more. I, yeah. I, th I think that's gonna fit on this team, isn't it? Yeah, no, actually, uh, I think literally that's the first thing I talked to him, you know, yeah. uh, after he, he, he got hired, you know, we talk, you know, we talk about it for like 20, 30 minutes. And he meant one thing that he mentioned was the shooting more threes. You know, he said like, he trusts me with the three points and he, he thinks that I can shoot more threes, you know, so I think that's going to be the really big key for me. Now his three point shooting efficiency might drop a little bit, but I'm completely fine with that if the volume goes up. If you shoot about 38 to 40% rather than 42.2%, but with two plus made threes per game compared to only 1.3 of them per game, which is what he made last season, I think that would help the team more. At that point, he would become more of a three point shooting threat and their opponent would definitely have to view him and respect him that way as well, closing out on him more heavily and therefore collapsing their defense to close out on him. And that would directly benefit guys like LeBron and Anthony Davis, LeBron when he's trying to drive to the rim or Anthony Davis posting up around the rim and not being able to be double teamed or even drawing that attention away from him. So from that standpoint, Rui Hachimura taking and making more threes would definitely help their team, but now he's gotta be able to do it. He can't afford to be hesitant at all anymore, which he still was at times throughout last season, and he's got to be confident enough to become a more high volume 3 point shooter. Not just say it, but actually do it on the court. He was still a bit hesitant at times last season, even while leading their team in 3 point percentage, so now he's got to be confident enough to become a high volume, efficient 3 point shooter. I definitely think he can do it, but now it's about Rui Hachimura putting that into action. However, that's not the only thing that Reg has been on Rui Hachimura for throughout the offseason. 
Three-point shooting definitely has been a main thing for him, but offensive rebounding or corner crashing quote-unquote has been another big discussion for him. Not only from the fan base, but from Redick to Hachimura directly. And with Hachimura once again agreeing with it too. Yeah, just you say like, uh, I feel like my body is more stronger and, you know, I can be more physical and especially like you said you know, on the glass, you know, being a, going to a, uh, offense rebound and stuff. So, yeah, I think uh, that's the another, another thing that I talked with the coach and he want me to do more, um, especially last year. I wasn't really doing that. So I think this year I can more mix it up with that and yeah, just more physical, being aggressive and find a match, uh, mismatch and especially me, Braun, AD on the call, always going to be, somebody going to be a mismatch, you know. And I think they don't want those two guys to be a mismatch. So I think they're going to put somebody, the smaller guy on me or taller guy, bigger guys on me. So, yeah, I think uh, it's going to be a good. I'm a big fan of it, and Rui Hachimura definitely believes they can do it, aka becoming a better rebounder and better offensive rebounder too. He is coming out the worst rebounding year of his entire career averaging the lowest amount of rebounds per game per 36 minutes, or only about 4.3 of them per game in 27 minutes per game that he did play. So definitely underwhelming for a 230 pound, athletic 6 foot 8 power forward, and not something that you want to see. Part of it definitely coming from Darvin Ham and their playstyle, but overall from Rui not being very aggressive and not really prioritizing it either. I often talk about it, but he would tend to leak out rather than help rebound around the rim, and that definitely hurt their team at times too. Maybe helping their fast break offense a little bit, but they don't really need that much help with LeBron being a freight train, so I think they would benefit more from Rui rebounding more and helping Anthony Davis around the rim. And like Redick has talked about, corner crashing could be a key for Rui Hachimura. Defensive rebounding is one thing, but Rui Hachimura is literally in the perfect spot to be a corner crasher. He already plays there, being a 3 point shooter from the corner and wing primarily, so they don't really have to do anything different with him on offense. Redick won't have to move him or again do anything different within their game plan for Hachimura. He's already there and in a perfect spot to be a corner crasher. In reality, all Redick needs to do is motivate and then emphasize the importance of Rui doing that for their team. Again, Rui himself doesn't really prioritize that much or doesn't really remember to do it, so Redick definitely needs to instill that within him and make it a priority for him. And if you ask me, I'm looking for Hachimura to average over 5 rebounds per game in total and over one offensive rebound per game at the bare minimum, hopefully pushing that closer to about 6 rebounds per game or about 1.5 offensive rebounds per game. I think that would be a really beneficial piece of Rui Hachimura that doesn't come from his points per game or overall offense in general. Rebounding is something we tend to forget about, but for a fairly big and athletic guy like Rui Hachimura, I think that's something they can definitely gain from him and without asking too much of him too. It would overall help their team and especially Anthony Davis around the rim. And they definitely do need that too. Being middle of the pack in rebounding per game and being dead last in offensive rebounds per game last season. But for my overall thoughts on AD and Hachimura and how Redick might be planning to utilize them or change them within their game plan, I'm not putting a ton of stock into the 3 point shooting part for Anthony Davis. I would love to see it happen and be wrong about it, but I think they might be better off utilizing him differently on offense being more of an offensive hub rather than floor spacer or a three-point shooter, which they obviously will do no matter what and even if they have him take more threes per game, but putting a bigger priority on that in my opinion would be more beneficial to their team and Anthony Davis directly. And then for Hachimura, I think Redick is 100% on point with what he wants to do with him. More three-point shooting, obviously higher volume three-point shooting, being more confident about three-point shooting, and simply making Hachimura have that mindset. And then apart from that, better and more rebounding per game, more corner crashing, and then also taking advantage when shorter defenders match up with Hachimura. That's something that Rui likes to do directly, so I'm glad that Reg has talked about that as well. But with that being said, what do you guys think? How do you feel about what Redick has been talking about in regard to Anthony Davis and Rui Hachimura, and how their role might look differently on the team this season, primarily in regard to offensive rebounding and 3-point shooting? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But I think that will pretty much do it for this one, and if you enjoyed the video, then don't forget to drop a like, hit that subscribe button if you have not already, and turn on notifications so you never miss out when I upload a video. But as always, thank you for watching and have a great day.